a combined team sorry, of the police and the special anti-robbery squad have reportedly arrested and detained the SAC Director General of the DSS, Lawal Daura. Now looking down at reports, uh, according to them, Daura was arrested just shortly after he was sacked by the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, for breaching national interest. The acting president, Yemi Oshimbajo, had earlier on directed the immediate termination of the appointment of Daura with immediate effects following the invasion of the National Assembly chambers by masked men of the DSS. A statement signed by the special, sorry, senior special assistant to the president's office of the vice president, Laulu Akande in Abuja on Tuesday, said that Mr. Dara had been directed to hand over to the most senior officer of the state security service until further notice. Now, this very swift action that was taken, Chukudi, has now led to a detainment of the ex-DG of the DSS. How do we take this story? The problem I have is every time I hear orders from above, mm. it is very easy to trace you know, the order to the principal that gave the order. So what the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibadu, has done is right in the sense that when there is any breach whatsoever and a threat to our democracy, you must act quickly in the interest. So we commend the acting president because, because ideally, I would not come out to say, oh, we commend you, we like what you have done. Because if I'm not, it's not my father that would do it now. Because he's not the, he, we, nobody elected him and he doesn't have that responsibility. So people should understand their job description and do it. But the reason why I want to commend is because in the time past, we have seen where people have acted. I mean, we are still talking about the NYSC exemption certificate of the Minister for Finance. And for over a month now, mom Nothing. has been the word. We have not heard anything. So we live in a country where people just feel we can dismiss whatever. We can go ahead with what, what we want to do. But the truth is, if you are... Father to your children, husband to your wife, wife to your husband, mother to your children, it is your business. But when you present yourself in an election to exercise your right to suffrage, and I exercise my right to franchise, to vote for you, and validate your mandate, then I must hold you accountable and responsible. Okay. What Nigerians must understand is if we do not begin to participate in this process, then we would allow unscrupulous elements in the political class. I always say that I have friends who, young people, older people, who are in the thick of things. And by their character, I look at them and say, this person, based on my personal relationship with this person, is a good person. But when you look at the, the final output, it affects the organization, composition, and operation. So it would appear like it is designed to fail. So even if you have the Pope, I'm just saying, even if you have the Pope and all the daddy geos and all the sheikhs and all the afar and all the malims, it would seem that that design continues to frustrate the system. So what Nigerians must understand is, if you look at the percentage of those in government that are supposed to stay apart for development of the country, they pale in comparison to the generality of the people that they lay apart for. So if these people are not involved, you would have people who will continue to derail the efforts. So what we must do is support a government that is committed to ensuring that we change the status quo and people who want to undermine the efforts of that government will not succeed. To enjoy more of this, our Ubon get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.